Hi, just a quick uh, follow-up video to this Intel MCS85 system design kit that you've seen on the main channel. Now, I've actually had this uh, running overnight just for kicks, just to see if it would hold up. And of course it holds up. Look, no wackers whatsoever, right? But then I actually went around and was uh, touching some of the chips, particularly the ones at the top with the back of my finger, just seeing how warm they are, because the thing actually does take uh, five watts, you know, and it's it's only run at three megahertz, doesn't, um, you know, it's not exactly a speedster, but you know, it's taking a lot of power. And these chips, particularly the ones up in the um, I.O. Uh, bus expansion driver up here, they're really too hot to keep my finger on, which means that they're over you know, 55 degrees, something like that is like a rule of thumb. If you can't keep your finger on there, you know, 60 degrees plus, um, then you're going to go ouchy, Ernie Bernie, and you're going to keep your finger, you know, you're just going to have the reaction. Um, that you pull your finger away because it's too hot. So I, I, you know, I was just filling the chips. So I thought I'd just get out the uh, thermal imaging camera and actually have a look here at some of the chips. So I'm going to have to make sure I don't get the stupid reflection of the lights. But let's let, let's have a look here. You can see the arrow. Uh, see the cursor in the middle. Okay, so that's the. Oh, come on. That. Let's see if I can get it to go. That's oh, that's the processor there. So the process is at 41 degree. Oh, it's supposed to find the hot spot in there. 48, you know, it's almost 50 degrees, something like that, for the actual uh, processor. And this one over here is the uh, keyboard and uh, display driver. So that's 42. And this one down here is the ROM. That's about 35. So it's the coolest out of the whole lot. This is the RAM down here. The bottom RAM is 47 degrees. This is a Celsius, by the way, not this Fahrenheit rubbish. And then 42, the top one. So I assume that the bottom one's the one being used, I guess, um, which is why it's hotter, or is there that much discrepancy between, um, you know, silicon? But, uh, like, and the little address uh, latch, um, ad address decoder in there, that's 53. The 74LS over here, um, yeah, oh, oh, oops. Actually, that's that's the yeah the 74 LS takes nothing because it's a LS LS stands for low power uh, shot key and uh, this one up here is an S device you can see my finger so that's running it it is a bit why I can't get a can't get the cursor to lock into that one really so anyway the S and the LS devices are running cool but these ones up here these are Intel um, 8216s. And they're running at 57 degrees, 58, 59. We're almost talking like 60. We're talking 60 degrees up there for those, for those ones up there. And if I try and keep my finger on that, that's uh, it's getting that's getting a bit hot. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yep, yeah. <laughs> that one's getting really hot. So, and these ones over here, which are Intel 8212s, these are 8-bit uh, latches. The smaller ones here, uh, the 8216s, they're actually uh, bi-directional 4-bit uh, latches. And these bigger ones, the 8212s, uh, they're actually 8-bit uh, latches. And they're 64 degrees. Wow. And if you actually have a look at the data sheet for these uh, 8212s, they're like 90 milliamps. Um, <laughs> like it only gives you, uh, you know, a, a typical power consumption and that's presumably like static doing nothing, right? It's drawing 90 milliamps. It's like, it's not only CMOS rubbish. Um, it's, you know, it's high power old school. And like sitting there doing nothing, we're not actually uh, driving and the program's not actually talking to the expansion bus, or I, I don't think it is, um, shouldn't be. Anyway, but uh, like some of the address lines will all be toggling and stuff like that. But anyway, yeah, they're they're rated for like 90 milliamps a pop. Um, I don't know what these ones I couldn't didn't get a full data sheet for those. But yeah, interesting. These ones get hotter than the uh, than the actual 8085 processor itself, and and the RAM down here gets hotter than the processor itself. It's just you know it's just crazy stuff. Anyway, I thought you'd find that interesting. Catch you next time.